Right, I'm gonna hobble back to the bed. I might have to get rid of this piece because I am naked. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> get back into bed so I can film the intro. Ah. Oh. Oh, I got that wrong. Ow, that hurt. Now I'm back in. Uh, day number one. First morning after my operation, I took two codeine before bed and I thought, well, I don't think that's going to carry me through. So I set an alarm for five in the morning to take either some more codeine, some liquid morphine or some paracetamol. As you've kind of got to be proactive with taking your painkillers, if you get to a point where the pain starts kicking in and you haven't got painkillers in your system, you're going to be riding around, you're going to be in trouble. I woke up at five and I wasn't in too much pain. So that was a pleasant surprise. I actually even managed to roll onto my front because I was really only getting pain in my left hand side where they cut into me where they did the tenodesis. But 5 a.m. alarm went off wasn't in too much pain so I thought hmm maybe the codeine's doing its job went back to sleep now I've just woken up about eight and my knee is really throbbing so I'm gonna just start the day with some paracetamol and then maybe like kick on to the codeine a little bit later I also need to start taking my aspirin tablets and my um meprazole to uh stop the aspirin tablets hurting my stomach yeah not to take so this is how I slept. I did find that I was able to kind of sleep on my front with my knee like kind of out the side. But for the most part, the back was the best position to go in. I still have pain down the side where they've done that tenodesis and cut into me there. The rest of it isn't really painful, but that has began to throb. Um, first night, not too bad. <laughs> Today is just going to consist of spending a little bit of time with Lil. I am off work or oh, managing the pain. And then I'm going to get on with some editing because I want to keep on top of the videos. I don't want it to get to kind of six months down the line and I've not followed the progress day by day. Maybe got on some prehab today. I don't know though because it is still really swollen. So, oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I need to calm down a bit. While the coding did its job, it is starting to hurt quite badly now. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I've just woken up from a nap with a uh, young Lillian. I don't know if the drugs are making me feel sedated, but we're both been pretty tired. Um, and I'm gonna take some painkillers because I'm starting to get serious pain on the left hand side where they cut into me. And interestingly now, oh, I'm actually getting pain like in my tibia there, and that's where the staple, my previous staple for my old operation, was still inserted. And I don't know if they've removed that or if they put another one in. They're the two places I'm getting pain again now. So I'm going to take some, I'm just going to take one codeine because I had paracetamol this morning and codeine but that was at about half eight, it's now four, seven and a half hours-ish and it sorted me out until now. In fact I might just take two paracetamol now and one codeine in about two hours, something like that. Two paracetamol, let's go back to editing. <laughs> take some coding. I don't think paracetamol is cutting it. Pain is coming back in quite a quick fashion. So yeah, one more coding to get it done. Pills, pills, and more pills. So it is now five minutes past nine p.m. I have two codeine in the morning, one codeine at four, one codeine at six. I have two more codeine because the pain is coming back on and also two more paracetamol. Yeah, starting to hurt again, really bad. Down the outside where they've cut me open and they've stitched me. It looked, because I was awake during the operation, it looked like they stitched the flesh and then stapled the skin. And that is really sore. So like when my leg's hanging, for example, when I'm on the crutches, I can feel it like trying to pull away from itself and that's sore. And then again, where I pointed out earlier where the staple was last time, that's really sore. So it's all the all the parts where they've either drilled into my bone to create like a hook for the new tendons or they've actually cut the flesh. Yeah. More codeine, please. Day number one complete. I haven't got a late night because I was just getting some videos done, but it's now three in the morning and the painkillers are starting to wear off again. And it's hurting similar spots down the left-hand side where the old staple was. I'm gonna take two more codeine 
and another paracetamol just before bed and maybe set an alarm for seven in the morning, four hours-ish and probably take some more then and maybe have a little bit more of a sleep. Yeah, I've not done too well on pain management today. I think I've been kind of getting a bit too hopeful with what I can achieve. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be a bit more regimented with my painkillers because I want, yeah. <laughs> I don't like take, taking painkillers at the best of times, but if there's ever a time to really take painkillers and get back on the actual movement that I should be doing, this is it. So, um, day one done, and a bit of pain, but not as much as I thought, but we can be doing better. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Day two, peace. Day.